if I want to create a mustache, I'm going to be clicking Control first, Control, and then I'm going to be painting it as a mask. So a very simple mask right here. Uh, a lot of people prefer to actually, you know, style the, the hair as a single thing. I like creating stuff in layers. So if I'm going to, uh, if, if the length and the thickness of the hair used for the mustache right here, going to be exactly the same length and the thickness, and even, you know, like how spread out they are. With the beard, I try to create everything as a single mask. Every time I have something that's longer, not slightly longer, but like much longer, for example, the, the hair on the top of the head and everything, then I'm going to be starting to create like a different mask and create different layers for this stuff. Everything that's similar, similar kind of hair, I'm going to use the same mask. This guy here is a caveman, and my caveman, he doesn't have a lot of hair. I'm going to have a lot of hair on the back and, the, and his head. This area here, I want like very, very little hair, actually, and probably a little bit more hair towards the chin. So I'm just going to mask it right here. You're just going to go scroll down here. You're going to find fiber mesh right below geometry layers. It doesn't show anything until you click preview. If you click in modifiers right here, you're going to notice that there's one other tab all the way to the bottom that says preview settings. If you click fast preview, that actually going to show you a very close representation of how the, uh, the hair going to look like when you're finished. So uh, you have all those controls here. And uh, of course, I cannot show you exactly like what every single control does. That's the fun part. It's the part where you uh, do your own research and, and play with all those values. But here, the max fiber is the first one. It's one important one. It actually defines how many you're going to have. So you see, it's getting like much, much less right now. It's like much thinner. As you can see, the mask is still showing there. A shortcut to hide the mask, so it's easy for you to see the hair itself. It's control H, so it hides the mask. It's still there, but it's just hidden. And then there's another button here that says the length, right? So the length right here, I'm going to be bringing it down. I start getting a little bit closer to what I want right here. Of course, like size variation, length variation, I can add as I go. But for what I want, like for the, the mustache, I think it's more than enough, because I want to make sure that it's like very, very thin, as I have a lot of hair going on in there. Let's say I'm happy with this one here. Of course, there's all kinds of stuff. You can create like clumps and, you know, it's like a, there's a couple of ways to propagate those polygons. For example, this by map, there's by area. And by area is interesting because it's, it depends on the size of the polygon itself. If you have like very, very small polygons in an area and then broader polygons like the larger ones in another area, the amount of uh, hair that's going to be created is going to be uh, relative to that. In this case here, I want to make sure that everything is even. So I just make sure that all those guys are at zero. And then if I'm happy with it, I can just click accept. And then when I uh, click accept, uh, ZBrush actually creates a layer for me. So those fibers are now part of that layer. And then now that you have those fibers in there, you can start styling.